Welcome back to another Gary's Mod video. Now you're probably wondering, whoa, whoa, Necros, what's the deal with the weird camera setup? Well, that's because we are in two dimensions. You know, it's funny. I swear I've seen a game mode that was just like this, and I've even done a video on it, I believe, or I planned on doing a video on it at one point. But here we are. This is flat grass in 2D, and get this, you do not need to have a game mode. This is just a map. You don't have to do some weird fancy controls or edit any weird thing. You click sandbox, you click the map, and this is what you get. We get Flatty World all the way in the back. Now, of course, if the whole video was just this, that wouldn't really be much, but I'm going to extensively test to see how this map fares with a lot of other things like props. What if we spawn props in or vehicles or even no clip? But first, I want to go all the way to the ends of the map to see if it really is flat grass. Alright, so as we're going to the end of the map here, left and right is going to change your direction. So, like I said, we lost a dimension. You can't go forward or back anymore, so that's going to be kind of interesting. I thought the aiming would be really weird, but honestly, it works pretty well. So you aim up like normal. There is a cap, so you can't aim any higher than this. This is about as high as we can aim. And then, of course, the same thing for aiming down. Alright, so we've reached the end, and you can tell because this dark black border here kind of goes into this gray border, which is pretty much where it meets, obviously, the skybox. And I gotta say, the seam, besides the black part on the bottom there, the seam, like, if we go up, is pretty good. And yes, by the way, you can no clip. I guess we'll talk about this now. So the no clip is exactly like you'd expect. It's the same thing as if you had no no clip on. Aiming up is going to go up, aiming down is going to let you go down, although it does invert the controls, so if we aim down while pressing up, we're going down because obviously we're facing down. It's a little weird at first, I gotta be honest, because I'm not used to that, but now we're gonna go back to the main structure here, and of course, just like in 3D flat grass, you can even go inside of it, and I loved how they made this little cross section of it like cutting through. Um, it, it, it just looks really good. Now, obviously, we're in third person, and you don't really get the option to go into first person. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and try to go into third person here. Whoa, so <laughs> this is third person, or the third person command. Now, when we move our cursor, it moves our entire camera. That is not good. So we're gonna go back to first person, or quote-unquote first person and it's safe to say that there's not really a way to get out of this unless you have a mod or something that's doing that so now we're gonna go over props what does it look like to spawn in props and I mean it really couldn't be any easier whoever made this map really did put a lot of thought into it because now we can make our own 2d platformer Mario style but in Gary's mod so every prop you spawn is always going to be within the playable space so you don't got to worry about it being you know maybe outside of the map and it'll always be facing you so that means we're always going to be seeing it from the side profile here now obviously you can still maneuver around the props if we pick up the fizz gun here um, yeah, we can still pick things up, and it's so weird to only be able to use the fizz gun in two dimensions like this. But again, it, it works amazingly well, and I am kind of amazed that the props stay where they should. Alright, we got Odessa. Let's go ahead and see how this works. So, we have him following us. Alright, so NPCs appear to work perfectly fine, which again, is pretty incredible. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to shoot him, I think. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and spawn in some combine. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, fellas. We're gonna turn off God Mode just so we're not super overpowered. And look at that, though, even throw grenades still, which is pretty cool. So now the, oh. So now the props that you spawn can actually work as cover. Although, just be a little cautious about the grenades, because uh, I don't think a couch is gonna protect me from that. But overall, everything else works pretty damn well. All right, so props work great. NPCs work great. What about vehicles? And I'm gonna go ahead and spawn the jalopy, and we have our first predicament. The vehicle is facing us, the player, but not us in the game. Which kind of has me a little worried. Is this even going to work? And E doesn't even do anything. Even when we're right inside this thing, it does not let us get in. All right, what about chairs, though? Chairs also don't seem to work. Oh my god. 
I'm getting all discombobulated. So that is really unfortunate. Vehicles are not going to be something that you can use. All right, now we're gonna have a lot of fun. What about entities? This is the seamless portal mod. Whoa, what the hell was that? Um, so if you guys don't know, the seamless portal mod is an amazing mod by MEE, the dude that made so many amazing mods. And this pretty much acts like, well, portals, but they're seamless. So you don't even notice that you go through it. Interestingly though, we can't go back through it. We did there for just a minute and we did break the 2D effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and respawn that, seeing if we can get that to happen again. That was really bizarre. Oh, we did grab it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, oh my God. The dimensions converge. All right, that looks really trippy. I, it's almost like we can go back into the 3D world. That is so interesting. I'm just gonna like freak this out and see if we can do something. All right, that's probably what I deserve. But now get this, one of the portals is facing down. So now I wonder, what if we go through the top one are we gonna go into 3D? Oh man, don't even get me started on dimensions. This is going to be a very long video if we do, but it's pretty cool. And I don't think we're gonna be going into the third dimension anytime soon. So it's safe to say that this portal is just a little bit out of our confines, but this one looks to be okay. Although once again, in practice, we're not really doing much. So some of you guys might be wondering, well, Necros, I mean, what's the point of playing in 2D? Like, yeah, it's cool and all, but here's the cool thing is you can kind of make set pieces. And this is just me throwing about random props, but, but the thing about it being in 2D is it makes it extremely easy to make these kinds of worlds because, well, you don't got to worry about a whole dimension. And if you guys look at the screenshots, I didn't have a whole lot of mods installed, so I couldn't really make anything crazy cool, but the mod creator uploaded a bunch of cool screenshots of the things you could do, which kind of got me thinking, what about dupes? And this is gonna be the last thing we take a look at in this video, can we use dupes? All right, upon first inspection, it looks pretty good. Although, once again, a bit problematic, the functional part of this dupe is, well, it's completely off limits to us, but can we destroy the supports and yes we can and also by the way the grenade launcher works exceptionally well because well the laser is always in view so it's kind of hard to miss this thing now the problem is of course is that we can't aim in the third dimension but we can still shoot and hope that the explosion gets there anyway which judging by the amazing fire we just made i'd say that works out pretty well all right, so this thing obviously does have a few floors. Can we go onto these if we were to no clip up? And we can, we can go up to the roof, which is so weird because it's hard to tell where the limits are to this thing. All right, so that worked out surprisingly well. Let's go over one more dupe. And I think this is going to be perfect because, because although it looks like a row of blocks, once we enter into it, the blocks are going to scatter all over the place and my little 2D brain can't handle what's really going on here. But some of these blocks will be phasing in and out of my reality, and the only thing I'm going to ever see is the cross-section of these into, well, squares, even though they're actually cubes. Although then again, I guess I'm not technically in 2D because uh, I'm, I'm still three-dimensional, it's just I can only go... All right, you know what? There's a reason why they call these kind of games 2.5D. The bottom line is, this is a really cool map, and it works pretty much with anything, so you don't have to change anything. Everything should work as you'd expect, although uh, minus vehicles. But I thought this was a really cool map to showcase, so I had to do it. Guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Links will be in the description as always. I'll see you in the next video. Oh yeah, man, you better back up. And until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.